Hello and welcome to Make and Drink. My name is Derek and today we're going to make a couple of white Negronis. While the traditional Negroni has always been somewhat popular, over the last few years we've seen more and more people interested in bitter drinks. The white Negroni was created back in 2001 when Wayne Collins, a bartender from the UK, was at a convention in France. Um, he and a friend of his, uh, Nick Blackwell, decided to try to make Negronis with only French ingredients and landed on Suze and a bottle of Lille Blanc. Blackwell just so happened to also be one of the higher ups at Plymouth Gin and that's why uh, that has become the standard base spirit in a white Negroni. So the drink did not immediately take off in popularity. Uh, it took some time and later on it would find its way to the menus and eventually the books of uh, bars in New York like the Pegu Club and PDT. And while a true Negroni is supposed to be made with Campari exclusively and has equal parts sweet vermouth and gin, what I love about Negronis now is they've become their own simple drink formula, similar to an old fashioned. You just need equal parts of a base spirit, a bitter liqueur, and a vermouth or something similar to a vermouth. And the best part is there's no rules here. You can just do whatever you want to do. First, we'll make the original white Negroni, which was first made back in 2001. All right, we're gonna build these in a mixing glass. And first we'll add one ounce of Lille Blanc. Next we'll add one ounce of Suze. And one ounce of Plymouth Gin. Now we're gonna add some ice. just stir for 20 seconds. I'm just going to strain this over one large ice cube. We're going to garnish with a lemon twist. It is very bitter. It's um, bitter profile is much different than Campari or something like a tonic, which is quinine. Suze so is a French uh, liqueur. Um, it is made from gentian root, which grows in the French Alps. It is bitter. It is um, rooty. It would be the, maybe the best word to describe it. It is an earthy vegetal taste to it. It is not for everyone. Uh, variations of this drink dial down the Sous to um, half an ounce and you can up the Lille Blanc to um, you know an ounce and a half. It is an acquired taste to say the least. If you're not a fan of a regular Negroni um, this will be more challenging but if you're into trying you know bitter drinks, um, different drinks, it, it has its place. Let's make one that is a little more appealing a little more approachable for people who are looking to get into bitter, but maybe not dive straight into a bottle of Suze. One ounce of dry vermouth. One ounce of Koki Americano. And one ounce of our Plymouth Gin. Add some ice. I'm going to stir for 20 seconds. And one large ice cube. For this one, I want to use an orange peel. And there you go, a variation on the white Negroni with Koki Americana. That is great. It is more approachable. It has a more familiar taste, uh, more in line with the gin and tonic. If you've never had Koki Americano, it is an aromatized wine. 
It is similar to vermouths, but it is heavy on quinine. So you're getting that sort of bitter bite that you're used to from a tonic or a tonic syrup. Cookie Americano does have some sweetness to it, but if you found this drink to not be sweet enough, you could substitute out the dry vermouth for something like the Lille Blanc, um, but it does have its own sweetness. This is delicious on its own. It is amazing in a martini, including the Vesper martini. And it is one of my favorite modifiers, my favorite sort of uh, vermouth or aromatized wines. All right, so these two drinks are, they're totally different. It's as if you were making a regular Negroni and one had Campari and one had something completely different. Um, but we're kind of sticking to the family of Negronis here where we have our base of gin, we have a bitter, and then we have a vermouth. The Koki Americano is um, a pleasant sort of change up to the white Negroni. That'd be a great summertime drink as well. And while I think they're both delicious drinks, I think if you are not totally comfortable jumping into a bottle of Suze, uh, try this out first. And if you're into the really bitter stuff, if you're into Amaro's, if you're really into um, Campari's and, um, and, and similar, you know, Punta Mez and, and similar um, sort of bitter vermouths, then you should definitely try the white Negroni as um, was created in 2001. All right, if you enjoyed this video, um, give us a like, uh, comment about um, your favorite Negroni and subscribe if you want to. Um, we're making and drinking good stuff here all the time. So until the next one, cheers.